All right. This is a 2023 KTM 300 EXC two-stroke. Now, I've had this bike for roughly a month, month and a half. Let's just get this thing going, get it hot. Check is down here, it's a little knob you pull it out and then you turn it. This is the start, you just press it. Let the bike run up, let it warm. good to go. Just don't rip the bike when you first start riding it. shouldn't be on the footpath but I am because this is the only way I can get to the tracks that I ride at. Up here. This track I'm taking years all to. This one is out of town. So if you're ever doing an out of town ride, make sure you've got your fuel on. This is the start here. I'm just gonna check my mouth. Because last thing I want is this phone, because I'm recording on my phone right now, to come off, snap, and give you all a really, really bad video. Come it down just that slight. And we're good to go. The bike's all warmed up. Now it is really, really windy, so you're gonna hear wind noise. I'm sorry about that. I haven't found a little thimble for my phone so I can connect it up to my helmet. But this will just have to do for now. This is one of my tracks I have found in the past.
My phone camera doesn't like to show how steep this really is. And that's the end of that ride. That's the track there. This, this is amazing, this front end. But I'll try to turn up there. The track continues, but we've got this big gully right here. You gotta go across the highway, which I don't really wanna do. At the same time, I wanna show you. Um, As you can see, I'm in Australia. I'm near Moranbah or Emerald. I'm not gonna say my current location right now, but I'm about 10 kilometers out, or how many miles that is, out of my town. It's about a couple of minute ride, but it's worth the time. You really get to see where this thing shines and where it doesn't shine. part where it shines is all the slow technical riding the part where it doesn't shine is corners it doesn't like to corner properly when you give it a clutch kick now i've realized this i rode a 250 sx it was a 2000 model it didn't like to be ridden like this bike slow luggy it didn't like it at all when i jumped on this thing and i could do all the things that i could do I was amazed, I was astonished. This thing is an amazing, amazing bike. Sorry about all the cars, I'm sitting right next to our main highway. But I normally sit here, people toot at me, people yell stuff at me, not negative stuff, positive stuff, like fuck yeah, that's a good bike. When I bought this thing, I was about 10 Ks out of the city. I got it from Bullet Box. Shout out to Bullet Box from Mackay. They helped me out with a finance to get this beautiful piece of machinery. And Jason, thank you so much for being on my side and giving me a helping hand. Now, I was about 10 k's out of the city. We stopped by a servo or a gas station or whatever people like to call it. Uh, sorry, there's a truck coming my way. Oh no, it's a bus. Now, as you can see, the phone's moving up and down. That's because I'm breathing pretty heavy. It doesn't, it doesn't look like I'm riding this thing really hard, but I'm standing up all the time. You're moving around, you're juggling around, you're moving back, forward, up, down, side to side. The camera st stability, I've got an iPhone 14 Pro. The stability on it is utter amazing. So it's like looking at a GoPro Hero 10, just a little bit more. Now I'm gonna put my helmet back on, turn around, go back the exact same way. I'm not gonna be able to talk, but if the wind isn't that bad, you'll be able to hear some of the two stroke. Now, fair warning, the newest two strokes, especially the TPIs, This is the 2023 TPI 300 EXE two-stroke. It is the last of the TPIs because it has an orange frame. Orange frames are basically the last of the generation. I don't know where they're going to go with the EXEs next year. They might go TBI, which is throttle body instead of TPI, which is, uh, oh, what, what is it? Uh, tra transport injection, I'm pretty sure it is. And TBI is throttle body injection. Throttle bodies, you're gonna be pre-mixing. They're not fuel injected. 
Oh, they are, but they're not oil injected. They're not like a TPI where you can just dump your oil in here, close it up, fill, fill up your tank or your gas can or whatever you are, and go out for a day of riding. You just can't do that. But anyway, I'm going to put my helmet back on, turn around, and go back the way I was. This is only going to be a short video because obviously it's getting late. It's about 5 o'clock. And I need to go home, do a few things around the house before I can get to sleep because I've got work in the morning. But anyway, this button, switch it down. Press this grey button. Now, you've got two kill switches. You've got your horn, which is the blue one. You've got this kill switch and then you've got this kill switch i'm pretty sure there is another kill switch but don't guess me on it i still haven't found it oh and also with this type of model it is really really hard when you come to a standstill and the motor is moving it is really really hard to get it into neutral you can when you're rolling to a stop or when you've got the bike off you just cannot put it into neutral when you're standing there with the bike running. You just can't. I've tried it so many times, you just can't do it. Now I'm gonna make a sharp turn here because I don't want the truck or the drivers that are on the highway going that because they're going at 100 kilometers an hour. They don't know if I'm going to pull out in front of them or not. So, I take it out, and then I come and wind. Alright, let's go. Down, down.
So you gotta shut the motor off, click it in first, and then bump it up into neutral. But, either than that, this bike is absolutely amazing to ride. It is a one of a kind special bike to me. This is my first brand new bike that I have ever owned in my life, and there's no such way of saying you've done it when you buy yourself a brand new dirt bike. That's one way you know that you've done it. Now, I'm gonna sit down here for a bit, have a drink, take it home, wash it. But further than then, this is the dirt bike guy. This is a 2023 300 EXE two-stroke from KDM. It is a absolute ripper of a bike.